I might be able to brew the perfect amount of coffee for me with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I bought this, not just the black, but I also bought the Decker. And this is a single serve coffee maker. And the reason I picked this up is because I have a Mr. Coffee. It's pretty nice, it makes 12 cups of coffee, but I realized I was making a lot of extra coffee and it was just sitting around a lot. And sometimes I didn't need that much coffee. And even if I wanted to only make a small amount of coffee, I had to pull out this big contraption and just put in a couple cups and then I'm waiting for it to brew and all that. It's just a big hairy mess. And I didn't want to deal with that anymore. And I thought, oh my gosh, they make single serve coffee makers, kind of like a small Mr. Coffee, except this one isn't Mr. Coffee, it's Black & Decker. So I thought I would try it out and see if I can make myself the perfect amount of coffee in the morning, especially if I'm working from home or maybe I'm about to hit the road, maybe I'm going to be in my car on the way to the office, something like that. So here it is. That is amazing. Thing looks like a coffee maker wrapped in plastic. All right, no more fooling around. Let's get this thing unwrapped. So first thing I'm pulling off here on the front is a bunch of packaging, but it comes with its own tumbler. Now I will say this thing isn't that interesting as a tumbler. It's kind of a cheap tumbler, black plastic on the outside. It does have a lid here with a silicon ring. So this is plastic inside of here too. So I think if you have a tumbler that is about 14 ounces, I think this thing will make up to 14 ounces, then you might just want to use that. But if you don't, you will have that included here. But I like my insulated stainless steel ones. They're the best. All right, got this thing unwrapped. It's got a very short cord on it. I call this about two feet, two prong plug right there. And you can put this on pretty much any countertop because it's not that big. The footprint here is pretty small. As you can see, matching black plastic and this mug can fit right in there. And this plastic and this plastic match. So it's a nice looking matchy matchy set. But like I said, if you have a small tumbler, I kind of feel like this is a little small. I kind of wish they would make it work with a 20 ouncer. I might try some of the different tumblers that I have just to see what works with it, but that'll fit in there. And what you can see is the little nip up there and the top here flips up. It's kind of like your generic coffee maker. What I think you'll do is you'll pour the water in the back there. It'll go down here, get boiled, and then be squirted up through the top. And you can see right here, we have the little arm where it should come out, water will going to be fed through the little holes there onto the coffee grounds. Now, I'm going to pull this out here because it does come with this little mesh cup here. So what you can do here, because the coffee grounds won't get through the mesh, is just put in your coffee grounds there and then brew it this way. Now, one thing I will say is that sometimes you just want to use a little paper coffee filter. So you're gonna have to find like those mini filters. And I actually wonder if the Keurig ones will work in this. It's just a little bit too big to be similar to a Keurig sized K-Pod, but the little paper filters that you can get might work in there. I might try that. So that does come with that and I like it. You could also probably trim like a normal size coffee paper filter in half and put it in there too if you don't wanna clean this up. And then you could just throw it in there, but it does come with that, which I really like, and that's what we're going to try. So once you close that up, you put this in, you do have a little light indicator right there, and you do have a little power switch right there, so you would push to start. Now, what I like about this power switch is that it doesn't actually switch on. It doesn't click over. So I think this thing will turn off on its own once it is done brewing your coffee. So the next thing we need to do is try to fire it up and see if it works. So to answer one of the very first questions, I'm taking this out because I have my Swig 20 ounce tumbler right here. And I wanna show you that if I take the cap off, that fits under there just fine. So should be able to brew into that. Now, anything larger than 20 ounces is probably not gonna fit. So I do like the fact that a 20 ounce tumbler, I think is kind of a standard size. And this one seems to work just fine. One of the benefits of having this is that I can use it to fill up the water in the coffee maker to the appropriate amount. So you can see, get a bit generous with it. Filled it up to that lower level right there. And then I just pour the water in the back there. And because it's plugged in, it's already kind of brewing and boiling. All right, now I'm gonna add some coffee grounds. And because I'm just making a personal cup, I don't think I have to fill it all that much. The swig will go back in there just like this. I'm gonna close it up, bringing down the nozzle right there. And I also am gonna rotate it around here and just hit the start button. All right, let's see if it works. I hear it percolating already. 
All right, it has been about 15 seconds since I hit that start button and you can see I've got coffee dripping already. So this thing is fast. I'll be honest, if you use Keurig machine or something like this, I'm not sure that that's any faster. This thing started brewing right away. That's pretty amazing. So it's not necessarily dripping out coffee super fast. I mean, it's coming out kind of like a drip coffee maker. So if you are trying to get 14, 15 ounces of coffee out, you're probably gonna have to wait here just a minute. So it's kind of nice. You can get ready, do some other things, make yourself an egg sandwich or something like that. But I'll wait till this is completely done and then try it out. All right, so I got my coffee here and haven't added anything to it. I'm hoping that it's better than my normal Folgers crystals. No cream, no sugar though, just black, just like my soul. All right, I'm gonna tell you what, that is really hot. And actually I love hot coffee as I think it really gets the flavor out of the coffee grounds. And to me, actually I like coffee makers that tend to be hotter than other coffee makers. I'm not sure why that is. I will say though, that it's a little too hot to drink. I kind of cool it off with a little bit of ambient air or maybe throw in a little bit of honey, sugar, cream, something like that. That would also probably lower the temp by a couple degrees. But as it stands right now, it tastes delicious. And I just think it makes it so smooth with all that hot water in it. It didn't burn my tongue or anything, but it's as hot as I would drink coffee without continuing to wait for it. it kind of stuns you, it's so hot. But man, that is good. That is really tasty. And I guess I'm a little surprised that I didn't discover a personal coffee maker earlier because this thing is great. It's fast, it's like a Keurig, but I'm not just throwing in a K cup that costs 50, 60, 70 cents, a dollar or something like that. I'm using the coffee grounds, the flavors that I already enjoy. It's making me a personal sized cup of coffee. I can do this right on my way out the door, grab it and go, and man, empty the basket, dry it out, have it for the next day. So it's pretty amazing. I thank Black and Decker for doing this because I'm gonna use this all the time. And it's not making me make extra coffee that I'm gonna waste or stale coffee that I'm drinking later. Yep, pretty sweet. If you're alone and a coffee drinker like me, you're definitely gonna to wanna to pick one of these up. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. Better than everything